Welcome to Dot Hoops, where today we're diving into a gripping controversy that unfolded in the NBA involving unexpected twists, potential organized crime, and the dark side of sports betting. We've got breaking news from the NBA, which has handed down a lifetime ban on John Tay Porter for violating the league's gambling rules. On January 27th, DraftKings sent a bombshell email to its users, revealing that the biggest winner the previous night was a gambler who wagered on John Tay Porter's performance, specifically betting on his unders. That is, betting that Porter would underperform certain statistical benchmarks. This particular better turned an 80,000 six-play parlay into a staggering $1.1 million. Normally, sportsbooks cap prop bets at around $1,000 to $2,000, but this unusual scenario raised some eyebrows. Adding to the intrigue, on March 20th, the same kind of bet on Porter netted another $1 million from similar unders, signaling that something was amiss. Sportsbooks, sensing potential manipulation, alerted the NBA, prompting an investigation into Porter's actions. Observing game footage, nothing overtly suspicious jumps out initially. Porter appears to be just another fringe player engaged in routine plays like setting screens. However, there's one peculiar moment where Porter, instead of securing a likely rebound, inexplicably taps the ball to a teammate. It's behavior like this, subtle yet statistically significant, that is fueled speculation about intentional underperformance. Reports surfaced that individuals were going out of their way to place bets on Porter's underperformance, particularly against the Clippers. It seemed as though insiders were exploiting knowledge about Porter's likely actions during games. This pattern of betting was unusual enough to suggest that Porter might have been coerced into ensuring his stats remained low, possibly to fulfill agreements with nefarious figures. Why would Porter, an NBA and G League player on a two-way contract earning $415,000 annually, risk his career? Compared to his peers, and notably his brother Michael Porter Jr., who signed a $179 million contract, Jonte's earnings are modest. This financial disparity may have made him a target for criminals seeking to manipulate betting outcomes. Jonte is the younger brother of Denver Nuggets star Michael Porter Jr. Jonte and Michael attended Father Tolton Regional Catholic High School in Columbia, Missouri before transferring to Nathan Hale High School in Seattle after their father became an assistant coach with the University of Washington Huskies. They have a younger brother who also played on the high school team. Michael Porter committed to the Washington Huskies, but changed his commitment after his father moved on to the University of Missouri as an assistant coach. Both Porter brothers attended the University of Missouri and played together during the 2017-2018 collegiate season. While Michael has made headlines in the NBA, Jonte's path has been more under the radar. At Missouri, Jonte came off the bench, participating in 33 games and starting seven. His freshman year showed promise, but it was his only season playing NCAA basketball. Unfortunately, Jonte faced significant setbacks early in his career. Before he could start his sophomore year, he suffered a major injury, tearing his ACL. And while rehabbing, he re-tore the ACL and his MCL in early 2019. These injuries were a huge blow to his career. Despite the setbacks, Jonte declared for the 2019 NBA draft. He went undrafted and spent the next few years bouncing between the NBA and the G League. Fast forward to the 2023-24 season, and Jonte signed a one-year, two-way contract with the Toronto Raptors in December. The NBA's CBA clearly stipulates severe consequences for any player found betting on games. The provisions are designed to deter players from engaging in or facilitating betting activities that could undermine the perceived fairness of the sport. According to the CBA, penalties for players involved in betting can range from fines and suspensions to expulsion and permanent disqualification from the league. Commissioner Adam Silver finds himself in a delicate position with the Porter case. He has the authority to impose a variety of punishments, which could set a precedent for future incidents. The dilemma is not just about penalizing Porter, but also maintaining a consistent approach to punishment across all ranks within the league. This case tests the NBA's resolve to enforce its rules uniformly, whether the player involved is a fringe player like Porter or a high-profile superstar. The Jonte Porter situation isn't isolated in the annals of sports history. It resonates with past scandals, such as those involving Pete Rose of the Cincinnati Reds in Major League Baseball and NBA referee Tim Donahue. 
Pete Rose, once a celebrated player and manager for the Cincinnati Reds, was banned for life from baseball in 1989 after investigations concluded he had bet on baseball games, including those of his own team. This scandal tarnished Rose's legacy and sparked a long-standing debate about the severity of punishments for betting in sports. His lifetime ban remains a pivotal example of sports leagues' attempts to preserve integrity. In a more direct comparison to the NBA, former NBA referee Tim Donahue was found to have bet on games he officiated, influencing the outcomes to win bets. Uncovered in 2007, this scandal exposed vulnerabilities in the NBA's monitoring of its own officials and led to significant changes in how games are refereed and monitored. Donahue was sentenced to 15 months in prison for his participation in the gambling scandal. But Judge Carol Ammon reduced his sentence to 15 months, two 15-month terms served concurrently, followed by three years of supervised release in exchange for his cooperation. Donahue's actions not only ended his career, but also cast a shadow over the credibility of NBA officiating. These historical precedents emphasize the importance of stringent and consistent enforcement of anti-betting policies. They show that the impact of such scandals is profound, influencing public trust and the careers of individuals involved. Moreover, these incidents have led to stricter regulations and the implementation of more rigorous monitoring systems within sports leagues. The NBA and other sports leagues continue to evolve their policies in response to past scandals and present challenges. The legalization of sports betting has necessitated an even greater emphasis on transparency and monitoring to prevent these types of abuses seen in the Porter case. This situation serves as a critical test case for how sports leagues handle the intersection of betting and integrity in the modern era. This incident not only jeopardizes the integrity of professional basketball, but also affects public confidence in the sport. Commissioner Silver, who has advocated for the legalization and regulation of sports betting to prevent such corruption, now faces a significant test of these policies. The legalization has indeed allowed for more transparent monitoring, yet it also presents new challenges, as evidenced by Porter's case. As the NBA navigates this scandal, it must balance the need for strict enforcement with the practicalities of managing its public image and maintaining fan trust. The league might consider imposing stricter controls on betting, especially concerning fringe players who may be more susceptible to manipulation. As this saga unfolds, it serves as a reminder of the potential pitfalls of sports betting. While the legalization of betting aims to protect the integrity of sports by bringing transactions into the open, it also exposes the sports world to new forms of scrutiny and potential scandal. At Dot Hoops, we'll continue to follow this story closely, providing updates and analysis on how it affects the landscape of professional basketball and sports betting. If you like this content, hit the bell icon, like and share this video with fellow basketball enthusiasts, and subscribe to Dot Hoops for more insightful content on the game we all love. Until next time, this is Dot Hoops, signing off.